Eden, Texas, where the hill country meets the Texas Plains. Residents say it's their spot of heaven on earth, but there's trouble in paradise. And no, it's not the apple this time, but something more essential. It's the water. From wells dug 4,000 feet deep, it's pumped. The water comes out between 126 and 130 degrees. It's hot. So hot, the city uses large cooling towers to bring the temperature down before it's consumed. And even then, it's still hot. This kind of hot. At least according to the Environmental Protection Agency. They haven't put us under any kind of mandate or anything to get it fixed quick. Uh, but they are working with us. Most every water supply has some small amount of radioactive material in it, including some 40 Texas counties. The EPA says Eden's water just has a little more. And we do mean a little. Try seven trillionths of a gram per liter. We feel that our water is perfectly safe to drink as it is. The Texas Commission on Environmental Quality found Eden's water to contain too many radium radionuclides enough technically to make it a health concern. You never know when you go through these strata. But it is not the city's water that has changed over the years. It's the standards for measuring it that have changed. September of 2004, the EPA changed their rules and regulations. It's not that drinking the water is going to kill you. It's just that the EPA says if you drink too much of it, say maybe 20 years worth or more, it could lead to cancer. If you drink two liters of water a day for 70 years, you may get bone cancer. They don't say you will. They don't say it, you know, it's just a may. And some place along the line, they decided to enforce it. <laughs> you know, well, we all may get run over by a truck. You know, I don't know. The mayor suggests the research is faulty. After all, he's been drinking the water a lifetime. I make tea out of the water. I make coffee out of the water. Shelly Hiles was raised on it, too. I cook with the water. She and her family drink it up by the glass full at this popular eating spot. Water is essential to life in Eden as elsewhere. To cook and clean, the locals point out that a simple water softener cleans up the problem. If we knew what was in all the water that we drank everywhere, we might be shocked. So, you know, at least we know mm -hmm. what we're drinking. The TCEQ order suggests bottled water for those residents who want to drink. Restaurants carry it, though we couldn't find anyone who cared to drink bottled water. I think everybody realizes that uh, how the water is. Drilling another deep well would cost Eden around two and a half million dollars. There's no guarantee the water wouldn't be just as tainted, if not more. Treating the water could even be more expensive. And a town of 2,500 would be stuck with one heck of a water bill. Everybody's been drinking the water since 1946 and uh, no serious incidents of illnesses or anything because of it. Those who live here remain optimistic and believe the only thing getting expelled from this paradise eventually will be the water problem. Well, the Garden of Eden had its problems too, didn't it? <laughs> In Eden, Joe Conger, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News.